Hello and welcome to the Short is Better video series. What we're going to cover here is installing your own URL shortening service. I know there's many, many scripts out there that uh, are set up to do it and there's many services out there, but the only problem with the services is they come and go. And uh, you've got your URLs out there and if they disappear, you've lost your actual forwarding URL. And that's not a good thing if you're using it for affiliate links. It uh, causes you a lot of work. So I want to show you how to set up your own. And you can actually use this as a personal private shortening service or you can run your own public service. And we'll cover that in a later video. The nice thing about this one is it's an open source script and you can actually uh, modify it to your own needs and there's a lot of cool features to it. And uh, what we'll do is just quickly here I'm going to go over your actual stats here. Yeah, one of the not sweet things is, is you can check your stats and see where traffic's coming from, how many clicks and such as. And a little bit better than uh, the uh, one of the meal scripts that's out there. Okay, you're, you know you can check your statistics here and your actual or your traffic location, where are the countries, where it's actually coming from. And you can see a little bit more breakdown by doing this. And I'm just quickly going over this so you'll see the, how neat it is. Okay, and the traffic sources. You can actually get your refers and see where they're actually coming from. And another little cool feature is, of course, there's your short link and everything, the original link. But you can do a quick share right here in the admin panel. You can actually do a Twitter, Facebook, or friend find. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, there's the actual interface there and where you add them and got a nice little search for. Once you get a lot of URLs in there, that's really handy. So now let's go ahead and jump right in and set up the uh, configuration file. And inside the actual zip file, you got a directory. When you unzip, look like this right here. Okay, and we'll talk about the RSS file here later. So what you need to do, go ahead and, and locate this zip, get it unzipped, and we're going to be working in the includes folder on the actual config sample file. So I will see you in the next video.